In this HVACR training video, we're going over how I typically teach a new HVAC student how thermostats work. And so this could also be applied to new HVACR technicians and you could utilize this teaching method even while you're riding in the service truck. So in order to do this, we're gonna turn the multimeter on to electrical resistance, but you could also turn it on to continuity so you get that annoying beeping sound. Uh, but what we're gonna do first is I wanna to explain to you that 0, 0.0 ohms of electrical resistance were very close to it. So what that means is there's no resistance to electrical flow. And if you have OL, that means open line. So the circuit is open. And so these two probes are connected to your multimeter. And we can do this test without having any 24 volt power wiring. We're just using the batteries in the back of the thermostat. The thing you need to remember is that a thermostat is basically just a switching mechanism. It's very simple. Now, in this instance, we're gonna be using uh, a five wire setup for a gas furnace and air conditioning system. So we need to know that R is a 24 volt power to the thermostat. C is the common or the path back uh, for the thermostat in order to power it. So R and C are connected to the two sides of a 24 volt transformer located at the indoor air handler or furnace. So anyway, you don't need batteries if you have a, a C wire connected. In this case, we just have it wired here because, hey, this is a new, new tech or new student, so we don't really need it for this test. Anyway, so R, 24 volt power, C is your common, G is for your fin, and that's your green wire, as you can see. Y is for cooling or for your compressor, and that is your yellow wire, and W, that's white, and that's for heat. So we always use red for our 24 volt power and blue for our common. So we're gonna snap this shut. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna connect one of our leads to R, which is our red wire. And then we're gonna connect the other one to heat. We'll do that first. So you can see the circuit is not completed right now. So we'll go to the menu and We'll go to mode in order to select heating mode, and then we're gonna turn the temperature up. And so we're gonna now watch the multimeter, and you see now we have 0.1 ohms of electrical resistance, so it's very close to 0, 0.0 ohms of electrical resistance. That's just due to the alligator connection right there. But what I also wanna show you is that we don't have a connection between R and G for your fan. And the whole point of that is that the indoor gas furnace is only going to be able to power the fan once the heat exchanger warms up. And so the job of the thermostat is not to connect uh, to the fan during heating mode. So it simply is just connecting inside the thermostat, it's connecting R to W. That's it. So you can see that right here because we're read 0.1. Now, if you have this multimeter on continuity, you would just hear the annoying beep sound. I'm just avoiding that for this video. Now, if we were to, uh, we'll turn the, turn this off. And then what we're gonna do is we'll turn the fan on the on position. Done. And now you see we're reading 0.1 ohms of electrical resistance. That's because our fan is on right now. We're typically gonna leave that in the auto position, but in this case, it's gonna circulate the fan uh, the entire time. So even when heating and cooling are not operating. So what we're typically going to do is we're going to leave that on auto. So the thermostat is going to be able to turn the fan on during air conditioning mode. So we're going to change it to air conditioning mode now. And we'll leave it on auto. Done. And now we'll turn the temperature down. Now before we do that, I'm going to connect over to the Y wire. And now our air conditioning should turn on. It's going to connect the R to the Y wire. As you can see, it, it just did that. And now during air conditioning mode, R is going to also touch your G wire. And so it's not going to do that during heating mode, but it's only going to do that during air conditioning mode. So it's going to power the 24 volt contactor at the outdoor unit to turn the compressor on, which is for your yellow Y wire. It's also going to allow 24 volts to the indoor control board in order to turn your indoor fan on. And so we can see that's on right now. We do not have any connection over to the W. 
Now what I want to show you is that if we were to turn the thermostat up now to turn off air conditioning, now you see we're reading OL, our fan is also off. Now if we wanted to turn air conditioning back on, you're going to have to wait five minutes and that's what I want you to see. And we'll also switch this over to here. So you see cool on, that means that the thermostat is waiting say five minutes in order for the outdoor compressor, the pressures to equalize. Now why it's flashing is because the thermostat has a built-in delay. So if you turn the outdoor compressor on and then you turn it off and then you want to turn it back on again, it has to wait in order for the refrigerant pressures to equalize. That means the pressure on the incoming or the inlet of the compressor and the pressure on the outlet, you got to give it time so that you don't have a, a big pressure differential across it. Because if you try to turn the compressor back on, say you somehow override this, then you're going to do damage to the compressor. Uh, it's going to have a hard time starting. And so this is specifically here just as a protection device. After five minutes, this is going to stop blinking and it's going to turn air conditioning on. So I'll just let this sit and I'll fast forward to when it does turn on. What I can also do is I'll select continuity so we can hear the beep sound. So there we go, there's our five minute delay. So that's basically what I wanted to go over here. And so this is a, a great tool in order to teach the students about the thermostat wiring before you get into the wiring diagrams and, and things like that. So if you wanna see some of the uh, different wiring diagrams, we have 10 of them over at our website at acservicetech.com in the resource section. We also have a, a thermostat wiring electrical training board and we have all the plans for that over the website at acservicetech.com in the resource section. We also have thermostat videos linked down below. Also make sure to check out our refrigerant charting and service procedures for air conditioning book, which we also have available on Amazon and at our website. And hope you enjoyed yourself. We'll see you next time at AC Service Tech channel.